What's up, Anafinex? TechFinex here from Ultimate or Blockspot.com. With me, I the Galaxy S3. It's very beautiful and elegant. I'm going to be showing you how to remove the flash counter slash binary counter on your Galaxy S3. Now, many of you have been wondering what is flash counter slash binary counter. So, right away, I'm going to be entering into download mode and show you the binary slash flash counter that happens when you flash custom firmware on your Galaxy S3. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've entered my phone into download mode. And don't worry if you don't know how to enter in download mode. You, should, you can also check using the app that we're going to get rid of. So right there, let's hopefully it focuses. If not, let's just zoom out. And give it a few seconds and zoom in through here. Hopefully it'll work better. Uh, we're getting closer. <laughs> Alright, it's not going to be working, but... Right here, as you can see, if you enter your phone in download mode, you don't have to with the app. You can also tell if you have a binary counter or not. But right there, as you can tell, mine says custom binary download, no. So that means I don't have any custom binaries downloaded. That means I never rooted my phone. I never uh, installed Clockwork Not Recovery or anything on my phone. But I actually did. So this app is going to remove that. And whenever you send it back to your carrier or Samsung, they will never find out that you ever rooted your phone, installed a custom RAM, Clockwork Not Recovery, or anything like that. So this is very safe to do, and it will show you that... um. You never root your phone, so uh, you won't get caught rooting your phone, and you you won't void your warranty. That's basically the main part. So I'm going to boot up my phone, and then we'll get started on how to uh, remove the custom binary. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, uh, my phone is booted up, and the right there you can see is, is called Triangle Way APK. So that's an app that you just install, and as always, I have a link in the description below on where to download. Uh, where to download it so all you can basically doing is click on that link download the actual file uh, directly onto your phone just download directly into your phone it makes life a lot easier once you got uh, directly onto your phone just uh, locate it where it was downloaded tap on it and we're gonna install it so settings and make sure unknown sources is checkmarked okay go back and install it once again okay mine's gonna replace it because I already have the app installed once it's installed just tap on open Grant, like I said, you must be rooted. So you must be rooted to this. So as you can see right there, it says counter is zero. Same, that means my zero. That means if I restore my phone or anything like that, Sam's, uh, yeah, Samsung and your uh, carrier, your phone carrier, will not find out that you ever rooted or did anything with that. You obviously have to unroot your phone and all that, but this will make it less likely that they'll ever find out. It'll actually make it foolproof that they won't find out. So right away we're going to do reset flash counter and that will set your flash counter to zero. So continue. It is resetting it as we speak. Alright, flash counter has been reset. And now when, let's actually go back into the app. And I'll show you that it's actually at zero. Mine's always at zero, but when you look back at your app. So open the app once again and when you look at counter it will say zero. So that's how you uh, reset your flash counter back to zero. Just like when you first bought your phone brand new. It will help uh, remove, uh, help avoid uh, removal of warranty from Samsung and all that. So always do this after you have unrooted your phone or all that. So um, Samsung won't find out they actually actually did anything with your uh, device. Thanks for watching, guys. This was TechFnac9 on how to remove a uh, flash counter slash binary counter and your Samsung Galaxy S3. This process will work for Verizon, Sprint, uh, AT&T, T-Mobile, US Cellular, the i9 and 300, the KNA version, any type of Galaxy S3 in the world. So this is very universal process to fix your uh, flash counter problem. I'll see you next video. Hit that subscribe button if you already haven't because this YouTube channel is all about Android, 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 and more Android. So if you're an Android fanatic, you want more Galaxy S3 tutorials like these or uh, other devices for tutorials, check out my channel. Great channel for Android. And hit that like button if, you're, um, if you found this video helpful. I'll see you next video, guys. Enjoy Galaxy S3. Yeah.